How weird is that? New website coming apparently. What's up viewers? In this video, we're gonna go through cleaning the caravan water system. There's a lot of products out there that seem to do the same job when it comes to cleaning caravan water systems. So I'm gonna try and figure out which is best suited to what I need to do. Are you ready? Let's jump in. The first job we need to do is have a look at the different products and figure out which ones we need to use today. So let's go and have a look at those right now. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do here is split these up into three different categories of what the products do. They all do different things. So let's do that first. First of all, we've got water system cleaning. So let's move these over there. Puri Clean, you've probably heard of this. Puri Sol. Those three products are for cleaning fresh water pipe work and fresh water tanks. The next category are for cleaning wastewater pipes and also the cassette toilets. So let's separate those. So there's four products there, three of which stay on the tin that they clean pipework. The fourth one, I'm gonna share with you shortly what that one does, it's a little bit different. And then the third category, and I've only got one product with me today, is for purifying the water itself. All these products are for cleaning the system, not the water itself. Now there is products out there that will purify your water, making it safe to drink. And the product I've got here is Aquasol. So first of all, we're going to start by cleaning the fresh water system. So let's get rid of all these other products. So that just leaves us with two products, the Puri Clean and Puri Sol. The question is, what's the difference between the two? Well, first of all, the two Puri Cleans you can see, one is a small tub, one is a large tub. There's no difference in the product itself. So one is 100 grams, the other one is 400 grams. So that's really much down to how often you're going to use it and how much you use, how big the system is. The other product, Puri Sol. Now, the difference between these products Actually, they do exactly the same thing. Puri Clean is a powder-based product. Puri Sol is a fluid-based product, but they do exactly the same thing. However, there is one key difference. Puri Clean, 100 grams or 400 grams, doesn't have an expiry date. It lasts forever. Puri Sol does. This particular bottle I've got here is 28th of February 2025 so two years which is pretty good but if you're only using a fraction of this once a year and hope to keep it for many many years this isn't the route to go because it does expire it needs to be replaced so based on that I'm going to use PuriClean. For a 40 litre Aquarol you need nine teaspoons of PuriClean so I'm going to mix that into this jug first. Fill the container about 90% full and then add the jug to it. The reason being to do it that way around is that if you put the Puri Clean in the container first, then the hose pipe in to fill it up, it can foam and bubble and get out of control and make a big old mess. So I'm gonna do it this way around. Okay, that's almost full. Let's get the Puri Clean in. You can see it's already foamed just in the little jug. I didn't mix that enough. It had all sat in the bottom. It's gone all strange. How weird is that? See what I mean? I've mixed it much better this time in the jug. And it looks like it's all dissolved. That's definitely the way forward. Let's get the second one filled up. There we go, that's about 90% full. Let's get the fluid in. Hopefully this one's mixed better. There's still some residual at the bottom there. So I'm just gonna use the hose to try and get that out, but it certainly was mixed better than the previous one. So I'm gonna use this one to flush into the system. And there we go, they're pretty much full. If you've got a filter on the end of your pump, inlet, a filter on here, Remove it. You don't want to pump Puri Clean through the filter. Equally, if you've got a filter in your housing here, remove that before you start. Here we go. Don't forget to close the drain tap. Remember, up is open. Next step. 
close all the taps. We need to bleed the system, just like you would when you arrive on site, putting fresh water in. We need to bleed or purge the pure clean water into the system. Taps are closed, drain tap is closed. Next, switch on the pump. Now, pumps on, we want to get all the air out of the system and get Puri Clean pumped all the way through to each of the taps. I'm not going to show you all this because it's boring, but we'll come back in a second, almost like now. Okay, that's it done. We can tell it's purged through because it, the water is a bit bubbly. So we need to leave that for about an hour. You can leave it for longer. If you've just bought a caravan, not sure if it's passed, not sure how well it's been looked after, then you can leave it up to 12 hours in there. For me, I'm going to leave it for about an hour. So while we're waiting for that pure clean to do its magic in the system, I've taken one for the team. I've done something that I don't normally do. I know this will come across as a bit of a surprise, but I've read the instructions of all of these products. It was riveting. But interestingly, what it has shown me is that most of these products are suited for more motorhomes than caravans. Most of them are talking about waste tanks, as in grey waste tank. And um, generally speaking, a caravan doesn't have a waste, a grey waste tank. It has grey waste pipe, of course. So then it comes under the question of, well, how do I clean the grey waste pipe? What is the solution? Let me know in the comments. How do you clean the grey waste pipe? I haven't done this before. I've never done this at all. I don't know if I need to. I haven't got any particular smells. Do you just do it if you have a problem? I don't know. But anyway, let me tell you about these products. So I split them up into two. So firstly, the two on the right, the Duo Tank Cleaner and the Phoenix Waste Pipe Tank Cleaner, both say that they're okay with the toilet cassette. Of course, most caravans and motorhomes would have one of those. And also the grey waste tank, which typically motorhome only. And then the ones on the left, the grey waste, the grey water fresh concentrate and the 40 shot are just for grey waste tanks, not for cassettes. Let's start with the two on the right, first of all. The only difference I could find between these two products is that the Phoenix says that you are able to put it in the flush tank as well as the cassette and your grey waste if you have one, where the Thetford only talks about the cassette and the grey waste tank, not the flush tank. So, so far, the Phoenix one point ahead, I think, because it's a bit of an all-round product. What you don't want to end up with is 10 different products for 10 different jobs if you can get one or two or three that'll do the job of everything, in my opinion. The next thing to note is the price difference. The There isn't a massive difference in price. But the Phoenix is approximately £7 for one litre, where the Duo Tank Cleaner, £9 for 800 mils. However, what the Thetford says is use a 200 mil dose. So effectively, if you're using that in your toilet cassette, you're only going to get to use it four times. Where the Phoenix product is saying 100 mil doses for your cassette. So that would run 10 times of cleaning. Now, how effective they are, whether one is stronger than the other one and it cleans it better or not, I don't know. Assuming that they both do the same job and both clean equally well, then actually the Phoenix is much better value for money. A larger container and a smaller dosage. Plus, it also has that bonus of you can use it in a fresh tank as well. So for me, I'm going with the Phoenix. I'm going to use that in the toilet cassette. Now, one thing to note, this is something that people have mentioned to me in the past, is that they have a Thetford toilet in their caravan or motorhome and therefore use Thetford products. And I think that's to do with Thetford instructions recommend the use of Thetford products. You're free to use any product. As long as they're for cassette toilets, then you're absolutely fine. You're not restricted to Thetford if you have a Thetford toilet. Let's have a look at the other two products. These two products are purely for grey waste tank. However, there is one slight difference. This product, the 40 shot, is a washing up liquid as well as a pipe and tank cleaner. Therefore, if you use this in the sink to wash the pots, actually the product, once it's flushed down the sink, cleans the pipes as well as cleaning your dishes. So it's a bit of a bonus. You've got one product that does two jobs and effectively will clean the pipes every time you use the sink. It's gotta be a win for me, that one. If you're just focusing on a grey waste tank, 
and then it looks like the Thetford product is better value. 70 doses versus 40 shots on the washing up liquid. However, the washing up liquid, again, has a multi-purpose function. I wanted to show you these two products because I think they could easily be mistaken for each other. One is Purisol, this one, and this one's Aquasol, and they do two very different jobs. Purisol, as we talked about earlier, is for cleaning the water system, where Aquasol is for purification of the water itself. So you can put the required dose of this into the water and it's safe to drink. Purisol is for cleaning the system. Don't drink it. It's going to give you a tummy ache, if not worse. I've put links to all these products in the description below. Given that I think this Fenix is probably the best value, we're going to put 100 mils of this into the toilet cassette and then 10 litres of warm water and let it sit for 20 minutes with occasional shaking around. If you're in a motorhome, you could put this in and then drive around. That'd be easy. Natural shaking. In a caravan, you don't really want to take the caravan out for 20 minutes. So I'm just going to do it the old fashioned way. The instructions said five to 10 liters of warm water. But when I've measured it out, that's quite a lot of water. So I'm just going to go for six. Let's see how we get on. The sharp eye view will see that I'm not wearing gloves doing this job. But I can tell you, I'm going to wash my hands after it's done. Using the official method, happy birthday twice. So here we go. 100 mils going in, followed by six litres of water. My thinking with the six litres is it'll leave enough space for me to swish it around where if it was 10 litres, there's not going to be much space left. Let's give it a swish. Right, let's leave that to set. That's the fresh water system with the chemicals in, the cassette toilet with the chemicals in as well. So, time to take a minute with a coffee and a little bit of light reading. New website coming apparently. That'll be good. That's it, the cassette's ready. We're gonna go and empty this now. I'm not gonna pour it down the drain. I'm gonna pour it into the toilet in the house because I'm at the house. Um, just because even though it was empty, I think it's better to do that. With the Puri Clean that's gonna come out of the system shortly, that's just gonna go into the surface drain. I think that'll be fine. Right, let's get on with this. The cassette cleaned up nicely. I'm just gonna give this cassette area a little clean, a little wipe down first. Done. Right, let's get this Puri Clean emptied out of the system. First, let's get it emptied out of the Aquarol. Give it a quick swill and then fill it up with fresh water. Turn off the pump. Up is open. And open the taps. This just lets most of the pure clean water back out of the system. We could just pump fresh water in, but that means running the pump much longer than needed. That's the Aquarol filled with fresh water, so now we can start pumping that through. Okay, make sure your drain tap is closed. The taps are closed, switch the pump back on, and then we want to start feeding water through fresh water to clear the pure clean out of the system. I'm going to open all three taps in the center position. We're going to leave that running for a couple of minutes just to make sure all the pure clean is out of the system. Just one thing to know while you're doing this process, you don't need to turn on the hot water. This still cleans the whole hot water system even though hot water is turned off. That should do it, and the pump should stop now. Turn the pump off. Now the pump's off, we can open up the taps and the drain tap. Just to summarize, I've used Puri Clean, not Puri Sol. They do the same job. The difference is powder format, liquid format. And the one key difference you need to remember, no expiry date, expiry date. The next product I use is Phoenix Waste Pipe and Tank Cleaner. And the reason I chose to use this one is because it's far more versatile than the other products. That's it for today. Hopefully you found something useful in that video. And if you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Click like, click subscribe, click share, click all the buttons you can find. It's really appreciated. And I'll see you on the next one.